everyone, welcome back to read -a My name is Miss Christy, and today we're going to read Born in the Wild, Baby Mammals and Their Parents by Lita Judge. Let's get started. Born in the Wild, Baby Mammals and Their Parents by Lita Judge. A baby is born. Polar bear cubs arrive tiny, blind, and nearly hairless. They may grow to weigh over 900 pounds, but at birth, they are no bigger than squirrels. The cubs sleep and stay warm against their mother's fur. In a few months, they'll be big enough to explore the world outside their den. There's the baby. Other babies look like little adults and are ready to run. A giraffe calf is born in open country where lions prowl. After some shaky stumbles, she wobbles to her feet within hours. She may need to sprint from danger. There's the baby giraffe. The baby is hungry. All mammals begin life nursing on their mother's milk. Grizzly bear cubs nurse for several months before they start eating grasses, berries, insects, and a little meat. But they won't be weaned from their mother's rich milk for two or three years. Wolf pups grow tiny teeth in their first three weeks. But meat is tough, so the pups rely on adults chewing and regurgitating it. Within two months, the pups will have adult teeth and can eat meat brought back to the den. A two-week-old Granaco calf begins to eat a little grass. Over the next few months, she will depend less and less on her mother's milk until she is weaned entirely. The baby needs protection. Mammals are born small and defenseless. They need to be kept safe from danger. In a first few days, a white-tailed deer fawn is too wobbly and frail to run. So he hides by staying perfectly still. His mother comes back to nurse him occasionally, but most of the time she stays away so hungry predators don't find him. A mother panda protects her cub by cradling him in her chest. For several days after he is born, she won't even put him down to eat or drink. It will be months before he is strong enough to support his own weight. Until then, he depends on his mother to hold him safe. A musk ox calf is strong enough to endure harsh Arctic storms, but she is defenseless against hungry wolves. With sharp horns, snorts, and stamps, the entire herd forms a tight protective circle around the little one guarding against attacks. There's the little one, and here's all the big ones. A baby needs shelter. Animals need to be protected from rain, wind, and snow, and shaded from hot sun. Young western harvest mice, called pinkies, grow quickly in nests their mothers weave with grass and downy plants. Badger cubs stay sheltered with their mother in the burrow she digs underground. A litter of raccoon kits shares a crowded home high in a hollow tree. Within weeks, they will grow big enough to begin to explore. The baby needs to move. A newborn mammal might need to keep up with its mother as she searches for food and flees from danger. Eastern gray kangaroos are marsupials. The baby called a joey is protected and carried in his mother in a special pouch. Where she goes, he goes too. Virginia possums are also marsupials, but there are so many joeys in this family, they soon outgrow their mother's pouch. They cling to her back while she roams about. Hold on tight. A plains zebra colt is born with long wobbly legs that soon grow strong. Within hours, he can leap and run from predators. That stock is heard. The baby is part of a family. Animal families can be large or small. 
A mother hippopotamus gives birth to a single calf. Soon after birth, the pair joins other females and their babies. Their group is called a school, and together the mothers protect the calves from lions and other predators. Red fox kits grow up with several siblings. A mother fox usually has a litter of four to six kits, sometimes more. The father fox brings food back to the den and helps protect them. Only two or four pups join a meerkat family called a mob each year. Parents, older siblings, cousin, aunts, and uncles all protect and teach them. The baby needs to be caressed and groomed. To grow healthy, newborns need stimulation and attention. Baby cougars cuddle close to their mothers she grooms her cubs tenderly and sleeps curled around them, keeping them safe and warm. A chimpanzee infant is inseparable from her mother, but other female chimps and their youngsters also form strong bonds with the new baby, touching, holding hands, and playing with the little one. This nurturing will ensure she becomes a successful member of their community. A newborn elephant calf gets lots of reassurance from her mother, aunts, and grandmothers. The family welcomes the calf by touching her with their trunks, as if to say, are you okay? The baby grows strong through play. Youngsters build grown-up skills by jumping, chasing, and roughhousing. Ring-tailed lemur infants are curious and eager to explore. They hop as if their legs were made of springs. Soon, they'll be nimble enough to leap through the trees. Stalk, run, and quick attack. Lion parents are tolerant of their cubs' games of hunt and chase. The cubs will need these skills to survive. Pushing and shoving mountain goat kids play king of the rock. This may be fun, but mock battles also prepare young male billies to compete for mates when they become adults. The baby learns. Young mammals must be taught to find food and be alert for danger if they are to survive to adulthood. Chirp! A mother pika screams an alarm as a hawk flies overhead. Her youngsters learn that hawks are dangerous. They race back to their den. Before he can swim, a sea otter pup watches his mother. She teaches him to swim and dive, to find clams and urchins for food, and to crack open tough shells with a rock. It takes a young orangutan at least 10 years to discover all he needs to know. As he grows up, his mother shows him where to find food, how to do more complicated things like using sticks for tools, and even how to build a sleeping nest of leafy branches in the trees. Kits and joeys, cubs and colts, every baby mammal needs gentle care and teaching just like you. Wow, what a great book. I just loved learning about the baby animals and everything they need to learn and grow. I loved reading with you today, and I hope we can read together again soon. If you click on the subscribe link below, you'll get a notification every time we post a new book. If you like doing activities and love having fun, definitely come over to readaroukids.com, the link is below as well, and there you'll get to do crafts, cooking, puzzles, and even some science experiments. If you'd like to follow us on our social medias, you can do so at Readaroo Kids. I loved reading with you today. I hope to see you again soon, but until then, Readaroo loves you. Have a great day. Bye-bye.